Hey everyone. One thing I can't stand in the mental community is when people are close minded. When they listen to one or two bands and they force those bands on everybody. Never learning new shit. You know what's so cool about the metal community? There is so much good shit out there that if you would listen to a new band every single day for the rest of your life, you would only be able to listen to good shit. That's how much stuff is out there. But some people are set on their ways and others just have no idea how to discover new metal because it's going too slow for them. So let me give you 5 incredible tips to discover fucking awesome new metal. Number 1. Watch YouTubers. This is one of the best ones out there. It is there it is not that easy finding decent metal channels on YouTube. And trust me, I'm looking almost on a daily fucking basis trying to discover new channels to watch. I like the vlogger kind of people in general, but when you want to discover new metal, there's a lot of shit out there. And I'm going to name you guys like a few channels that you can check out. Number 1. Me. Check me out. Yeah. I don't focus on just metal, that's because I don't like to limit myself to one thing. I do these videos for my own entertainment, I want to share my thoughts with the world. I do vlogs, video game shit, random bullshit and metal videos and I try to keep shit ever since I did my channel upgrade. I try to keep my shit spread out that every video gets its turn basically. And the main thing when you watch certain YouTubers is that you get their own personal preferences, their own opinions that might not be the same as you but this allows you to discover new shit. You might hear me talk about Soul Sphere a lot, Calden Brood, there's so much shit and you hear these names, Calden Brood, like I don't really know that kind of stuff. This dude I'm watching here, he's a lot into black metal, depressive black metal, uh, medieval epic metal kind of shit. So that could be my cup of tea, let me check out this band, BAM! And you discovered something new. Yeah. was uh, the first time in eight years that I didn't go and they quit the festival and it got pretty freaky actually because I went to the Malta Death Fest twice and they um, organized it three times and the only one I didn't uh, the only time I didn't win they quit the festival and the only time I didn't went to the Neurotic Death Fest they quit the festival so I'm really really going to the Stonehenge festival just to make sure it just keeps on going. Infidel Amsterdam. He's my Dutch compadre. This dude listens to more, so much shit I would never pick up myself. He's into this very trashy heavy kinda shit and he uploads videos regularly and he keeps it real, he goes to festivals, he talks about shit, he makes, he doesn't just make a video, promotes a band, that's it. He talks about his own opinions and Infidel Amsterdam, I mean if you're into metal, I shouldn't even mention this name, he's like the angry video game nerd of metal. If you're into metal, this is the one person you should be subscribed to, he is fucking awesome. Atmospheric Black Metal Albums. This is not like a channel where this is person on the camera like me, like in front of Amsterdam all the time. All this is, is a channel about black metal albums and they're being uploaded, full albums, uploaded on a daily basis. And every week I'm discovering a handful of new bands where I'm like, holy shit, how did I not know this before? The thing is that you should subscribe to a channel where albums are being uploaded, just albums that you like and black metal is kind of my shit and I'm discovering all these new bands it's like Falgar, Inner Suffering, Ares and this was like the last week and these bands are fucking amazing and I had no idea these bands were out there because a lot of, a lot of these videos don't get like millions of views and that's the point is to discover those bands that don't get a lot of attention and following channels like this is the perfect way of discovering shit like that. 
Okay, um, this isn't a video that I'm necessarily proud of having to make, but uh, it has taught me one thing, and that is when I am drinking, I make excellent purchases. Here's the uh, record itself with a sort of red orange split with black splatter. Um, looks very, very cool. I love the, love the uh, labels there. There's side B. Super, super awesome shit. I would definitely say my favorite track on this thing is the title track, The Tempter's Victorious. Uh, that's one of the songs that, like I said, the, you know, the repetition it just keeps it um, it's, it's weird because a lot of times repetition might make something boring, whereas in this case, the repetition keeps it interesting. The final one in this little segment is Canyon Bickle. I'm sorry if I mispronounce your name here, but Canyon Bickle is... He's like me without all the other bullshit. Like, he is purely focused on metal. This dude picks up, like, vinyls, like, by the week and... He tells you about these vinyls and he shows you his collection. He talks about bands, about experiences, and he just keeps it real. He doesn't chew his words, he like spits out what he feels, what he wants, what he doesn't give a fuck. And that's what makes me like him. He's just this, he's like a vlogger kind of guy and he purely focuses on metal. And once again, he like 9 out of 10 albums, LPs, vinyls, bands that he talks about. I never knew these things existed and that's how you broaden your horizons by watching people that talk about shit you wouldn't necessarily think about listening to yourself that's how you discover new shit another thing that you could do is also watching certain things on YouTube but is watching label specifics when I look through my metal collection, I notice several labels coming up all the time. Nuclear Blast is one of the main ones that I have a lot of shit of. So I watch the Nuclear Blast channel and I see what other bands they promote. Season of Mist is another that I really like and they also promote bands on a regular basis. Every week there's like several new things being uploaded. And uh, new, the, Season of Mist is for example Solstavia, that kind of shit. And if you focus on certain labels, once again you're being exposed to certain bands you wouldn't think of necessarily listening to yourself. The next one is one of my favorite ones. I don't know if this has a name, I call it video jumping. Video jumping. When you're listening to a metal album, a song, on YouTube and you like it it's something you know you look into the sidebar and obviously it's gonna link certain things in relation to the tags to the video to the music whatever you're watching and by doing this just don't give a fuck look in the sidebar click on a random band and listen to that and from that band you click on another random band and this is a great way to discover new shit. You can also do this, and I like doing this, is in a store. You look at the CDs, you skip all the bullshit that you already know. You look at some bands you never heard of before. And then you judge. You check the label. You check the band name. The cover art. You see the names of the songs, and if any of this speaks to you, you randomly pick this up. I try to do this at least once every few months, you know. It's nothing you should do too much because, yeah, there can be some horrible shit in there. But it's a great way to discover new things. Just randomly jump, buy that random CD, click on the video, listen to a metal song you know that you like, that you're familiar with, with a metal style, and you click in the sidebar on a new band, and you listen to that, and it's gonna be the same style, and then you click another band that you have never heard of before in that sidebar, and once again, it's gonna take you to something new. This is my favorite way of discovering new albums because by doing this, especially on YouTube, it keeps you in the same line of music that you like. It tries to find the same style because of the tags and whatnot. And you will always discover new shit that you love. And it's a great way to discover new albums and new bands. Next up. In Ugh.
Next up, engage people. Engage in conversations. Like I said in the beginning, don't be one of those assholes that is so close-minded that you can't focus on anything else. Share what you know. Don't force it on people and accept what people tell you. When you go on YouTube videos, look in the comments. Engage people. When you watch YouTubers like Kenyon Bickle and from Amsterdam, like me, engage us. Most people love talking about the shit they love. When you have videos of people who talk about shit they love, they love replying to you. Engage in conversations. Learn about new bands from each other. This is one of the main things that you have to do. It's a community. Remember the community on other sites too. Engage people in conversations and threads on forums anywhere talk about the shit you love if you actually want to discover and broaden your horizons and the final one that I have for you guys is a very simple one research your shit when there's a band you like look them up go to Lost FM Metal Archives, I highly recommend Metal Archives, obviously, if you're into metal and you've never heard of Metal Archives before, what the fuck are you doing? Stop watching this video, go to Google, click on Metal Archives, go to the site on Metal Archives, you can see a band, if it's active, who's in it, the type of music, the amount of albums, the lyrics, the style of the lyrics, you can see so much, you can search bands by genres, you can research a band, look it up. See what the members are doing. See if the members have side projects. Visit the side projects. Look at the label. Visit the label, the genres, the subgenres. Click on these things. Discover them. Last FM does what YouTube does. It links you to similar videos. Do that kind of shit. If you've heard of a band and you like it, don't just keep it at that. Research it. Google the fuck out of this shit. Wiki it. Research your band. Learn about their history. This is a perfect way, once again, of discovering new shit because everything is linked in this world everything will link you to something else be it an anecdote a story a band member with different projects everything is linked i hope you guys learned something from this all of these are easy things to do to discover new math you can do this with your fucking car ass on the couch if you go to the city go to a store like i said buy a random album watch one of my videos canyon biggles Look up the bands we are talking about. Do some random surfing, video jumping, anything. There are a million ways of discovering incredible bands. So, stop watching. Start video jumping. My video here, look in the sidebar. Maybe there's something metal right now in the sidebar. Click on that shit. Click on that shit and stay real.